Good evening, Petway Patriots. This is Mrs. Khan, and I am here at the East Point Lighthouse. It's a community where I grew up. I am going to share with you a story, and I am also going to go out on the beach by the bay and share with you, I'm going to show you the animals that I'm going to read about today. The horseshoe crab. This is what we call the Delaware Bay. If you look real carefully, you can even see Delaware from over here um, on a clear day. It's a little cloudy today, but I want to introduce you to the horseshoe crabs. These are horseshoe crabs. This one is burying in the sand to lay eggs. This is the female, and I noticed as the tide is coming in, the, um, the horseshoe crabs are going back out to sea once they lay eggs. So um, this, this horseshoe crab is still alive. If you notice, she's really buried in the sand. And maybe as the tide comes up, you can see some of the horseshoe crabs swimming away. They use their tail to propel themselves forward and back up and down to swim. They don't really swim, but they kind of steer. They are not crabs. They call them horseshoe crabs, but they're actually in the scorpion family. On the beach, you can see the tracks and it goes all the way right here to this female horseshoe crab. She's making her way back into the ocean. She's waiting for the tide to come in to find a female so that he can fertilize her eggs so we're waiting for him to come to shore here he comes the males are smaller than the females this is a female right here and they come to lay eggs and fertilize eggs on the same beach where they were hatched. Their eggs were hatched right here on this beach at East Point Lighthouse. High Tide for Horseshoe Crabs by Lisa Kahn Schnell, illustrated by Alan Marks. It's starting. One spring night, the first horseshoe crab lunges onto shore. They're arriving. More horseshoe crabs follow, just as generations have done since before the time of dinosaurs. Adult horseshoe crabs crawl from the muck of their winter homes and swim toward land. Millions of horseshoe crabs head for the Delaware Bay. High tides carry them far up onto the beach where their eggs will develop best. They're flapping. On flickering wings, flocks of shorebirds fly through the wind and rain through day and night. Some of these birds weigh only as much as a handful of paper clips. Still, they are powerful enough to fly thousands of miles from South America all the way up to the Arctic, where they will lay their eggs. One of the few stops they make along the way is on the shores of Delaware Bay. They're traveling. Scientists journey to Delaware Bay from around the world. Some come to study the horseshoe crabs. Others come to study the birds. Citizen scientists, both adults and children, come year after year to observe and help the professional scientists gather data. Families on vacation curious about the commotion also stop to watch. They're laying. So many horseshoe crabs crowd the shore that their shells clatter against one another. Each female horseshoe crab, with a male clinging to her back, searches for a bare patch of sand. 
She burrows down and lays golf ball sized cluster of small green eggs. Her digging disturbs other horseshoe crab eggs, exposing them to waves and sun. Their landing. Bony and weak, the migrating shorebirds arrive in Delaware Bay. They are hungry. Very, very hungry. It's happening. They're tagging. Scientists tag horseshoe crabs each spring. Months or even years later, when people find tagged horseshoe crabs on the beach and report them, scientists learn answers to basic questions. How far does this animal travel? How long does it live? How many horseshoe crabs are out there in the sea? It doesn't hurt the horseshoe crab. It just, they just drill a little hole in the shell and they put this little round circle that you can collect information from. They're feasting. The birds find an easy meal. Tiny nutritious horseshoe crab eggs float in the water. They drift along the tide line. They mix in with the sand. The bird's long beaks are just right for digging. During the two weeks a bird spends along the Delaware Bay, it gobbles so many thousands of horseshoe crab eggs that it doubles its body weight. They're growing. Plenty of little green horseshoe crabs rest deep in the sand, protected from pointy bird beaks. Scientists probes and crashing waves. Each day, inside each egg, a shapeless bundle of cells begin to look more and more like miniature horseshoe crabs. And then they're leaving. One evening when their bodies are fat and the wind is just right, whoosh, in a whirl of wings, the birds leave. Some stragglers keep feeding for a few more days, but most of the birds zoom up to the Arctic to lay their own eggs. They're leaving. Scientists and vacationers brush sand off their binoculars. They pack up data sheets, beach chairs, and stories, then return home to share what they've learned. They're leaving too. Most adult horseshoe crabs ride tides and currents back into the deep water. Others won't reach water quickly enough though and will die on the shore. About two weeks later, the young horseshoe crabs burst from their eggs. Now nearly the size of ladybugs, they crawl from the moist sand and swim away to begin their own journey. It's over. Until next year. So I hope you enjoyed learning all about horseshoe crabs through my story and my video. Have a good night.